Rare card, worth it. Buffer, Seek, Reboot. So Buffer is really good against Slime Boss. Also good against the Guardian. It's really good against Elites. Buffer can mix, probably makes me able to do three Elites. Granted, I get like some really nice offensive cards. I can maybe have a better time doing these three Elites with the Buffer, if my cards are good, of course. And then Seek can get broken with a lot of stuff. For one Defrag, Seek is good. Tempests, double energy shenanigans, we've done that before. Amplify with any other power, echo form. I mean, Seek is powerhouse. But it's a powerhouse that becomes a powerhouse based on the other powerhouses you want to play, whereas Buffer by itself is pretty good. Pretty good. I would, honestly, I like them both. You think Seek is more influential on my card choices? Yes, Seek is more influential on my card choices. That is true. Seek is more influential on my card choices. That is true. That is true. I wish you typed that sooner. No, I'm happy with Buffer. Because Buffer, it makes me more influential with my path choice, right? But that's also based on my card selection. Not so much my choices, but what I get offered, so... Mm, we'll see. I'll upgrade it. What's love but a skinhead emotion? Let's see what we hit here. Mm. Rip. No, Seek is fantastic. and uh, Everything that I described about Seek is completely dead on. Spot on. Um, I'll see. It's fantastic. It probably was the right play to pick Seek. I don't know. I mean, I, th I think Buffer's fine too, though, especially for elites. It, it, it can perform. What, I, what the reason why I picked Buffer is because it, it can perform on its own without needing the other stuff that I need to find, right, to make Seek super good. But now we can take a 50-50% chance and take this and try to mitigate a little bit more, or I could just... Damn, I'm taking so much damage. Upgrade buffer is fantastic. It's amazing, because we have three elites in the path, and you gotta keep in mind, three elites in the path is something that's really influential for me in my decision. And I'm just looking for offense. So I'm looking for like, even beam cell ball lightning is decent offense. Although I think charge battery helps a little bit. I think charge battery is pretty good. I'm going beam cell right now because if you get a sunder or streamline. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually going to upgrade the beam cell and then the ball lightning. I hope that this first elite is like, eh. Buffer's fantastic in this fight. All right, we're fine. Well... It sucks that the first buffer is used on that. It does suck. Then we got things like this, so we can do like dual cast willy nilly, no problem. And ooh, yeah, no damage at all. Easy, easy elite. Claw recursion. Ah, uh, claw. It's awkward because I don't really have card draw, right? And we're going against the guardian. And claw's not that good against the guardian. I think Claw's okay card to have. It's a fine, I'll take it. All right, so we're gonna upgrade the ball lightning now. And this is pretty solid. Ornamental fan makes Claw a little bit better. Buffer's weaker in this fight, but still pretty solid. Honestly, I'm gonna do um, region pot. I probably did it too, too, too late. We'll see. Buffer this turn would have been fantastic. Anyways, we're taking a lot of damage. We'll heal it up with the region pot. Do I want to buffer now? I think so. But I also like ball lightning with ornamental fan.
still down? I had the arrow. Did they give it? Did they give a time estimate of how long it's gonna take? Play some STS. I could have got full healing. My bad. Blood vial. Tempest charge battery. I'll take the charge battery. Although I like the cool head because it's card draw. It gives you some frost, which we have none of. All right. I'll put the zap. Lose the block pot. Lose the cool headed. Lose the gold. I'll lose the block pot. What do we get? Ooh. Okay. I like it. I like it. I mean, if this is like the last fight I had with you, shouldn't be easy. I probably should have done fear pot there. Not bad. But it's good to hold on to it for the boss too. SDG. Buffers, MVP. Cool. Very. Whoa! Nelly! Oh my lord! Okay. So we've got really good Act 1. Insane. Did I come home and it's way different? Yeah, Valentine, it is way different. Is it different in a bad way for you? <clears throat> I don't mind the cold snap. I don't mind the sunder. Cold snap and sunder. I mean, streamline. Yeah, man, defect's awesome now. Oh, well, I don't mind if I do. Now, the buffer's good because it does help this next attack. But Echo Form is Echo Form. I'll do this. Boom. Cold snap is okay. I take a lot of damage. I get the frost going. It's fine. Ow. I will buffer here. Alright, we lose one buffer for this. Right here. Boom, boom. Okay, we have three more buffers. It's totally fine. That claw going. Damn. I lose two buffers. Ah. Or we're winning. So that's all that matters. Easy. What's next? Electrodynamics. Don't say that I won't. We got every good thing in the game. All we need is a defrag. Watch me get defrag. Curse key. It's so Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going here? No, I like it. I like the path. Boom, 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 boom. I don't like this guy. The buffer helps me get the echo form out, which is really nice. Oh, 
Oh, no more buffer for me. That's a such a 20 inch win streak? I don't know at this point. I think I got like four in a row since a 20. I think I almost had five and I um I ruined it with like shenanigans. I haven't really been going for streaks though. I'm not I'm not really preoccupied with streaks yet. Quitted again recursion. I didn't quit. I think a lot of those things that I did get could be attributed to luck, right? Like RNG. Upgrade or remove. I think removing is not bad because we do have a lot of important powers. And it is the elegant play. Which is the boss? It's the elegant play to remove a strike. And go into more important stuff. I'm going to do it. Although, upgrading the four defense is pretty clutch. I'm going to remove. We're going to be elegant with it. Uh, this hurts. And Neo, welcome. What time played? I've played like a thousand hours, man. Again, stack. I want another cool headed. Although, with Echo Form, it becomes better because it's just like playing cool headed effect twice for free because of Echo Form is really strong. Like, evoking, channeling two frost and drawing two cards because of Echo Form is extremely strong. So, I think because of Echo Form in our deck, this makes cool headed that much more better. That much better, not more better. English, please. That much more better. Sorry. To my uh, English teachers of past, I know better. I uh, see this is where you want buffer alongside the echo form. This kind of hurts a little bit. It's okay. We have a blood vial. Double electro versus double buffer. Pick up two echoes instead of one. That depends on where the deck's going. It depends on the opportunity cost of what that pick entails. Depends on what the deck is doing. It's very situational, man. It's hard. It's really hard to answer a question like that. I would say two echo forms are not bad, but a lot of times it really depends on what's going on with the deck. Burying the bottle, can't use it. Blizzard gives me some scaling with all the cool headers that I have. Minimal, but something, and that could be a way to scale up. As I'll take it. I don't. Okay, I think I'm making my deck actively worse, honestly. But that opener is nice. Let's rest because we're gonna do a fight here, and then we're gonna upgrade. Did I remove the one from my name? I never removed the one from my name. I never had the one from my name in my top left though. Here's hoping I can get defrag. Sick arrow is sick. Oh, thanks for the update, buddy. Oh, that's such good news, man. Such good news. Self-repair. 
Uh, we're taking some damage, but self repair could be okay. I don't mind it. It's still kind of a dead card for the most part. It doesn't help my fights that much. I think two card draw is better because I need to find the powers as soon as possible. Toxic Egg is fantastic. Give me a defrag. You gotta be shitting me. I spent my money on the damn guy who gave me the letter opener. He knew it was a defrag. He knew I was gonna miss out. I never trust that guy again. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh, this you know what feels you know what feels worse <laughs> going into this fight, having that happen to you and then having this fight. Oh my god. Well, at least we have self repair, right? I like this better. Hmm. How much can I reasonably block here? Two double self repair here. Healing twenty. Um, double cool headed, of course. But for now, well, now that we're frail, the block is a little bit harder to come by. So we'll do this. And I'll do the defense for the letter opener. Although Cold Snap does provide more initial block, but since it's going to be buffered anyways, it doesn't matter. But this also provides more damage. And actually, that prevents one buff from getting lost, which is actually a better play. And I didn't think about that, but I'm happy it happens. And GG. Heal for 20. Beautiful. The Weaken, I like it. Um, we'll upgrade the Weaken. Now, this is this fight could be okay. We don't have the defrag, but we have Electrodynamics. So Electrodynamics early would be nice. Streamline's not bad. What's also really good in this fight is the... Mercury Hourglass. We got the Electro. We also have Blizzard, right? So the more we channel Frost, the more Blizzard gets bigger, and then that plus Electro Dynamics means that ads are probably never going to be an issue. Probably going to get double buffer here. Double buffer it is. I'm gonna play streamline. I'm gonna play self repair just once, and that's gonna hit me to 67 healing. 67 life, rather. So we've stabilized a lot. Stabilized quite a bit. 67 life, no problem. Another buffer consume. Now consume gives me focus, which we desperately need. Now it's yes. It's a yes. I just need orb slots. It, it's kinda awkward versus buffer we kinda just play it and forget about it, right? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna consume. We're going to be using Cool Headed non-stop, getting a lot of block from Cool Headed non-stop. Look at this turn, by the way. By the way, take a look at that turn. So we're going to be using Cool Headed non-stop, right, on slow orb slots, which is giving us a lot of evoking um, frost. And then the more we keep doing that, the more Blizzard gets bigger and bigger, and then we win like that. Right now, it looks like we're taking damage, but we're not because of buffer. Get all that powers out of the way. And then... Um, yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Double weaken. Blizzard's getting kind of large and in charge. I don't want to do too much damage. The thing is, I'm doing a lot of damage right now, and that's that's not what I want to be doing right now. Get that out of the way. I do want to make this cheaper. But I don't want to be hitting him like that. 
consume. I want to consume once, but not twice. I will do the claw, even though it's kind of minuscule. I don't know if this is a good strategy, but basically I'm using Blizzard as a way to scale, which is kind of slow. But our block is pretty decent. This was at 36 right now, so that, like it's getting big. And then by the time I do Echo Form on that with like Beam Cell, it's gonna be pretty juicy. I shouldn't have done that because that's gonna split him prematurely. I made I wanted to make it cheaper, but that was not worth it. Whoopsies. Ah uh, yeah, I think I'm still Damn, I'm doing too much damage actually. This is the this is one of the times where I'm actually making Blizzard like a big thing in my deck. I want to do this for more frost, but I don't want to proc him too early, so we're just gonna not touch him. Blizzard's becoming at 47, not bad. Again, I don't want to touch him. Although that does make Blizzard bigger. Let's get the weekend. Eh, not even worth it. Fine. Get recovered because of Hourglass and because of Light Opener. Alright, I'm gonna get Beam Cell and I'm gonna go for a double blizzard. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, that's that's pretty spicy. I'm gonna go for it. Because now, the next blizzard is lethal no matter what. Do we even need the blizzard? Do we even need the blizzard? deck boys reboot rainbow electro well rainbow being upgraded is kind of worse because i don't want to keep doing the rainbow like li lightning frost dark if it was not upgraded it would be nice the double electro is not necessary reboot is the best card here you're no longer smith potions always appear oh that's fantastic with the shows you i love that and then we got nuclear battery i think fusion hammer is the nicest thing we have Toxic Egg, so I don't necessarily need to upgrade. Um, I mean, it would suck if I get a power that's like a really good power, like Defrag, and I can't upgrade the power. So what is 5 Energy going to do for us? 5 Energy is going to make it so that we can keep doing a lot of cool-headed shenanigans and just keep playing cool-headed and Frost and card draw and non-stop and then do Blizzard. So I think 5 Energy is going to be helpful. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's... With all the amount of cool that we have, I think... There's a lot of upside to it. And, um... Yeah, it sucks that I won't be able to upgrade powers, but... In Act 3, we get a lot of upgrade cards anyways. Let's see what I can draw here. Alright. A Blizzard in Ascension 20, baby. It's actually quite nice. It's working quite nice. Buffer is, uh... We need electrodynamics. That's what we need. Buffer helps. Barely. But it helps. You know what would help more, honestly? Is killing the damn guy on the right. Would that help more? Helps a little bit. 
I didn't want to do the math for whether the buffer was better or not. We have electric, we have self repair, so as long as we can self repair out, we're good. Wizard's is pretty strong here. I, I just Wizard wins. Fine, you know what? We'll get self repair in another fight. Just end the fight. Hold snap, I'll skip. Rare relic, upgrade all cards, and longer heal. 999999 gold. Okay, so we get two curses, which we can remove one of the shop. And maybe one of this event, who knows. And then another shop up here to remove the second normality. So as long as we survive to get to this shop to remove the normality and get to that shop for the normality, then we have a lot of gold. Two shops. Rare relic is a rare relic, which could be calipers, which could be interesting, or ice cream, which could be interesting. I'm doing normality. That's more interesting to me. Holy no way. Oh, they could mess me up though, let's be honest. I know. Normality of crazy card draw. I know. I hear you. Don't worry, it's gonna it's gonna stabilize. We're gonna remove one normality, and then we have we have two guaranteed shops, so we can remove the curses. So it's fine. We need self-repair, actually. I forgot that we have self-repair in the deck. Ah, I didn't get to use it. Charge battery, leap. Charge battery, leap. Okay, remove one normality. Membership card. That's sick. We got calipers as well. Remove the normality for 50 gold. Why not take a calipers? Another blizzard, double blizzard deck. Dreamcatcher, just in case we rest. It's so cheap, might as well. Draw two cards, place a card. I mean, that's not bad. For time meter, it's whatever. Bow sequence for the first turn. Ah. Uh, pack of prep, bow, se bow sequence. I don't mind it. Another blizzard, two blizzards. Let's commit to the blizzard. We can no longer upgrade it though, which is eh. Buy a potion. Okay, potions. Yeah, so is he. Let's buy some potions. I think equilibrium could be interesting. I, I'm happy with this that I bought. I'm happy with this. Dreamcatcher to get more cards. Genetic algorithm. Wow, the value. The value. Okay, okay, okay. Good. I was going to go for the elite, but having a normality in my deck for the elite, eh, fuck it. We're doing it. Eight energy to start with. Normality in the first turn. What do you know? Well, that's a good thing because, you know, we know the normality. That's the only one we have in the deck. So the next four turns, no, no normality to worry about. No problem. Draw two cards. Place a card from on top. That could be really sick with Echo Form. Okay, I really want to do Reboot to find Echo Form, but I also don't want to draw the normality, so... Since we're, this is the perfect time to do buffer. I could double it, but all right, whatever. Echo form. One, two turns. With all the cool headed, yeah, you're right. This is this is Blizzard's gonna be pop champ. All right, just don't get the weekend again. But this is gonna be Pog Champ, alright? Our deck is actually so good. Our deck is so good. As soon as we remove this normality, this deck is amazing. Fantastic deck.
first buffer down. Okay. Where's the blizzard at? Uh, I kind of repair is unnecessary right here. I guess streamline twice was not bad, but I still want to find blizzard or at least scale up my thing. I mean, I can take this out of this cycle. This is fine. I know streamline was probably better just get more damage in. Oh, we have calipers, by the way. I forgot that all this block is actually not useless. I'll do reboot. Although, please don't draw the blizzard. Alright, cool. Blizzard. Ah, not bad. Okay, cool. Let's remove the second normality. Bias cognition. I'm taking it because, 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 because we can find a core surge. Another blizzard. They're really tempting me, man. I don't even want to take anything else. I I'm good. I'm good. Oh, I've got rewarded. All right, let's remove the normality. Oh my god. Take the artifacts. Tiny chest. Hey, yeah, there's two things coming up. Why not? Boom. Um, deep breath. That could be interesting. Turnip. And what else do I want? Deep breath. I don't even know. I think I'm... I can't buy potions. Could get a cold snap to like... I'm deep breath. Alright, we're good. We're good with the deck. Mall bank. That's hilarious. Speaking of mall bank, this looks like your brother. Look for echo form. Oh, biased. Let's go. That makes... Oh my god, guys. My deck is so much better with that. Itty bitty bow to focus. That's GG. I'll play this. Uh, so Waking One gets not that good against Bias Condition, but Bias Condition is so strong as it is that we can. I'm gonna use it against Waking One anyways. Um, we're losing buffer here. Not a big deal. Bum 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 bum. So not getting echo form soon, like, is bad, right? So this is why Seek would be really good. So Seek would be really nice to get. Well, never mind. We're fine. This is the importance of keeping the deck small, right? But still, I still think the deck is fine. so much energy you just play all the stuff and calipers takes over right cool i'm so ready white noise i mean i like it but for awakening one oh well whatever happens happens let's skip oh, hello buddy this could be bad this could be pretty bad Doing 10. Cool headed is blocking for more. What is hologram doing for me? Hologram is giving me boot sequence, which is much better actually because it gets me letter opener as well. I need my bias cognition. Where is it at? Bias cognition. 
There it is. GG. It's gonna be hard to win now. I mean, hard to lose, I think. Oh, hell. It's gonna be hard to lose with that. Still possible, though. Still possible. Oh, the GG. That's it. Buffer is the center. Yep. Buffer just destroys this guy. And I can just end the turn. But I want to just make him feel it a little bit, right? He, he, he earns this. He deserves this. A little, a little bit in the face. Just a little bit. A little blizzard right there. Boom. I mean, blizzard's so underwhelming now in the face of bias cognition artifacts. But I'm still happy I have it. Skip, skip. Alright, just rest. Get a card, maybe. Another cool headed. I'm down. Skim. I'm even more down. But skim is really good. But cool headed for more frost, more card draw. One skim is fantastic. And that was a Blizzard Plus, but... I go from first turn. Oh my god, I'm a lucky boy. I don't ask for this on purpose. It just happens. Double white noise. Depends on what it is. Oh my god. Why not? Why not just play everything in the book? Alright, so this fight's probably won. I just need to worry about the next fight. See, Vice Cognition again, I'll hold on to it. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm getting as much frost as possible. I mean, by frost, I mean I'm, I'm doing that as much as, as much as I can so I can get the, um, Blizzard. Nice and stacked. Do it now. At this point, the game's over. It's over for you, lads. Where the hell is the blizzard? I'm trying to do a nice blizzard, and you're you're nowhere to be found. I forgot we have calipers. Oh my god, the calipers is just like stupid good. Okay. Awaken one could be problematic, but not, I mean, I think the amount of stuff that we're getting off of our powers is. I think we do Electro, just to manage the f minions. The thing is, we do have like Letter Opener and Mercury Hourglass, so we don't necessarily have to do Electro. Because mm. I want to play an Echo Form as well. It's all good though. It makes my life a little bit easier. I don't have to worry about them. And now I just Echo Form and try to win.
Eight strength is a lot, though. Ah, white noise. Damn. It's gonna be deep breath twice here. We all actually we have to get out. Like we have to get the buffer out, but it's another power. So don't be himself first. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna reboot here. Okay, I like that. I'm trying to get Blizzard as big as possible, but maybe that's not the play. I have 18 passive block though. That's crazy. Plus calipers. If we get enough calipers, then we're fine. I think we're fine. I always forget about calipers. Calipers is going to be MVP. Should have went for double weaken, actually. With so much energy, it, it sucks when Deep Breath doesn't draw into more card draw. This, like, a turn like this would just put me over the edge because of calipers. So this is like probably a, this turn right here is gonna win me the game. A singular turn. to use those powers once this first phase is done. Where's that blizzard, baby? Let's go. Alright, so... Well, first what we're gonna do is kill him, right? And then we're gonna do self-repair, get that out of the way, boom. And then we got a lot of powers to play. Buffer, get it out of the way. Blizzard is looking juicy. 110 damage. I like it. And you know what? Do another one. White noise twice. And it is what it is. You know what? We're going to try to find Blizzard again here. Skim. Yeet. Beam Cell Blizzard. Let's go. Beautiful deck, boys. We didn't get perfect on the last boss, but it was a 39 minute run. 2,203. Most importantly, it was a Blizzard deck with a lot of cool headed. Super cool, man. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. It's a lot of you guys here. Wow. Welcome, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that.